Yo, 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 what's going on? What's going on? It's your boy Shadow back again with another YouTube video. <laughs> this one is going to be how to make a t shirt using a rolling BN20. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Um, if you got any value from the video, make sure you comment. I need I need more ideas, y'all. Come on, I need you. You are my community. Go get it types of community of go getters. You ain't that right, go All right, so basically, this is my design, right? I'm about to put it into um, Adobe Illustrator. Uh, what I did was I cropped it. I used a crop tool to kind of crop it to the size that I wanted. This is 12 inches by 12 inches, but the design only takes up 12 inches wide by whatever, five, I think. So I'm going to save this as Big Speak Life. I think I already did that. Yeah, Big Speak Life. I'm going to save it as a PNG. Uh, save as, okay. Big Speak Life PNG. All right, dot PNG. All right, let's see. PNG, there it goes right there. PNG, so save it, all right? So next, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna start a new file because the file that I made, I didn't really like it so much. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start a new file. We're gonna make it 12 inches by 12 inches. I probably don't need to make it this big, but I'm overdoing it. All right, so I'm gonna drag it over. Big Speak Life, no, Big Speak Life, PNG Speak Life. There we go, and this is gonna be 12 inches here. 12 inches, so just go ahead and drag that. I like how it's already set up. So I don't need to do but so much. All right, so what I'm gonna do next, of course I'm gonna copy this layer. Copy that layer, okay. So I'm gonna drag it to the new layer box. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna image trace it, make it a black and white logo. Okay, whatever. Choo, choo, choo. All right, we're gonna expand it a little bit so we can, um, we just need it black and white so we can get a cut line around it. There we go, perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, so now I'm going to, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click on this layer. Uh, I'm gonna double tap on it, okay? So I can bring up the isolation mode. Like if you watch my last video, you can see what the isolation mode and all that is. I'm gonna go with the fill, take the fill out, no fill. Oops, let me click on this thing. All right, so let's see. It seems like every time it's just like a new uh, a new button I gotta press. Oh, my bad, I need to click expand. Cause once you hit the image trace, you always gotta hit expand. Bam, there we go. So it's gonna bring up this, right? Uh, no fill. All right, you see? Perfect, so now I got the outline behind it. All right, so now what I'm gonna to need to do, I'm gonna to need to do the uh, cut line. All right. Do the cut line. Okay. There we go. Make a little cut line around the junk by clicking on the Rolling VersaWorks cut line. Oh no, reverse, reverse, reverse. I just need to do this. This is acting up for me. This ain't working for me today. All right, so cut line. Cut. Okay, this is going crazy today. All right, so I think it's because of this. I'm gonna have to swap the fill. There we go. Make sure it's on a stroke, not on fill. Ooh, there we go. So now we got our stroke. The stroke is gonna be selected. I'm gonna go to object. You see how it's going to see with this stroke right here, I'm gonna show you some quick game. That means it's gonna cut everything outside of this line. But sometimes it get a little, get a little weird. Sometimes it get a little, a little weird with the uh, raster images. So basically what you do, I usually have like an offset or quote unquote the bleed line. So you don't have some of the stuff cutting off and some of the stuff just you know, just looking tacky. I just started to look uh, offset path. Um, if I wanted to go inside, I'm going to click, put negative right here. So we're gonna preview that. No, nope, we don't want that. So we're gonna go positive. All right, so that's gonna cut on the outline, okay? But we don't want it that, that, uh, that much. Let's see, I'm just going to, See how point zero look like. That's a little bit on the outline. That's good though. Let's see zero four. Let's see what zero four gives me. 
Zero five. Zero five look good. All right, cool. And since we're working on a white t-shirt, um, since we're working on a white t-shirt, the background is going to be white. So when it cuts, right, it's going to cut all of that, 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 all of that with the white um, jump, with the white um, thing behind it, okay? So let me zoom in right quick, make sure this is what I want here. Yeah, it looks good, I like that. Oh, make sure I take out this, take out that little interline there, take out that extra line there, um, take this out, yeah. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute now. All right, take that out. Click on this, take that out. Click on this, take that out. That's looking good. I don't need that. I don't need that. I'm trying to think, do I need those A's cut out? I don't need that. Do I need this? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut that out. Honestly, I don't need that, but I'ma just cut it out just cause. And if I want to offset, I can even offset this. So we're gonna click on that inside line and go to path, offset path. We since I did say we needed a little more on the out on the inside, and if I do it positively, it's gonna go on the outside. So we're gonna click put negative. Alright, that looks good. So okay negative boom now i can delete go inside here and delete that and it's only going to cut on that um that outside y'all make sure my letters are straight because sometimes it's, it gets a little tricky when you do it this method all right so now i need to do an offset just so i'll be mindful of it offset path of course i'm going to do a negative preview streak yep perfect perfect all right, cool. So this is the only one that I need to do an offset. Path, offset path. Put a negative on that jump. Bam, bam, bam. Click on that inside one and delete. So if I look over, I'm very uh, meticulous and careful when it comes to the cuts. So I know it's going to, it's on a white t-shirt now. Um, Like I put my bleed, whatever the color of the t-shirt is, I put the bleed the same color as the shirt. Um, So basically it's going to go around, cut that out, zoop. Zoop, 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 cut all that out, cut that out, cut that out, cut that out, cut this out. Uh oh, hold on. We missed this one. Offset, path, offset, path, negative, okay. All right, we almost missed that one. All right, so it's gonna go ahead and cut that out. Zip, 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 zip. Zip, zip, zip. It's gonna come over here to the heart. It's gonna zip all those out. It's going to do that. It's going to do this. It's going to do that. It's going to, uh oh, see, look, bam, almost messed up. All right, so that looks good to me. That looks very good to me. All right, looks good to me. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to double click. I'm going to double click. And see, you see all this white space over here? You don't want all this white space because um, InversaWorks is going to just cut it out as, like, oh my gosh, yeah, this is how much white space. So, the trick to that is, you go to art boards. All right, my baby. You click on this little uh, thing here. And then go to fit artwork to bounds. And then click on OK. All right. Uh oh, what is this? There's always some stuff with it, man. Uh oh, hold on. Kind of messed up. I, to, you see how this this little mess little pesky thing is right here? I'm going to go up, go to the direct selection too, right? Click on this mug, just delete it. Because I don't know where that's coming from. All right, so we're going to save it. And then I'm going to send it over to the cutter. And ready to cut. I'm going to put save to speak, life, ready, cut. All right, and I'm, I'll always save mine as a PDF, all right? And I'm 
going to save PDF, minimize this so you guys can see what it's going to cut out. All right, preview it. So, bam, that's what it's going to cut out. There it goes. And I'm going to take this over to the printer, send it to my to my email because that's what's located on my other printer, and get back with you. Back again, y'all. Back again. Okay. So as you see, this is what's going to be cut out. This is what's gonna be cut out, all right? It seems like a couple things got shifted a little bit, but this is, I feel like after it's um, cut, it's not gonna be shifted like that. It looks good. So, make sure my inches are sized up good, 12 inches. Uh, let's make it 13. Now we're gonna keep it 12, we're gonna keep it 12. And I'm gonna do, I'm gonna flip it so that more can fit. Yeah, there we go. Two, three, ah, three. Four, okay. Freak, freak, freak. Let's see if we can do it like this, okay. Cause it seems like we just getting three. And I gotta do 25 of these jumps. All right, so that's, we're gonna do three. Let's do three at the time. Alright, All right, so we're going to do three. Try three out, see how that cuts, and go from there. So now my media, my media is loaded in. I should have enough um, vinyl to cut it out. I'm just going to click print and see how it goes. Alright. Alright, print out one. Right, and as you see, it is cutting out. It's doing this little cutting job now. The color's looking beautiful. Looking very beautiful there. Getting a little bit to cut. Not too bad though. All right, so this is how it looks once it's all like weeded out and things like that. Uh, you might ask, oh, I don't want all that white stuff. I mean, there's you, you can get it closer, of course. You can get it closer, but make sure whatever you do, you just put your little bleed mark there. And I'll show you how to uh, you know change the size of the bleed sometimes what i do if i want to get like one point on point like what i would do is just like kind of you know for the color of the t-shirt let's say if the t-shirt's black i would you know what i'm saying make this whole thing like you know what i'm saying black so that it's not that white outline going on you know what i'm saying or let's say since this is multicolor, i would make like a little you know make the cut line so thin like almost touching the words and stuff like that um and then just make a little small stroke of blue a small stroke of red a small you know so and green so on and so forth you get it all right and when i'm come back it's going to be pressed on the shirt for the final results i just finished pressing up a lot of these t-shirts this is how they came out they look beautiful look beautiful nice to touch nice material um yeah but yeah just let me know like comment and subscribe uh, to let me know what kind of other videos you guys would like to see. Basically, I still got my uh, sublimation printer. This is rolling pretty good. Open front coverage. There's still some error messages with reset cartridge. It's all, I haven't used this in a long time. I ain't gonna lie to you. But uh, it's, it's still working good. I've been more or less focusing on the, um, the printable vinyl. Printable vinyl, that's my main thing right there. Of course, the t-shirt transfer is here. Uh, if you got any kind, any kind of value out this video, click the thumbs up button. It's your boy Shadow. Go get a tight YouTube channel. Peace.